no, it works. Wait, what? What did I do? Does it work? Swipe. Okay. Done. Oh, no, it does. <coughs> it does have battery. Hold on. Okay. So anyway, sorry, I thought my Kindle was actually dead and I was just using it for pictures. Um, hi, my name is India and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be, I'm really going to pull out my phone again because, but we are going to be talking about the books that I have on my Kindle right now for black author readathon. I don't know why it just like blanked out. So yeah, this isn't really a TBR, it's more of a su suggestion video or, you know, some, some books that you might want to read. I'm really going to actually bring out my phone because I can scroll. And so these are going to be the books on my Kindle. So yeah, like I was saying, today we're going to be talking about some of the books that are on my Kindle, Kindle, <laughs> my Kindle or my Audible um, for Black Author Readathon this month. Um, so these are in no particular order. Um, I am just, I don't know what they're about. Okay, so don't ask me. That is what wrap ups are for. <laughs> or look at them up on Goodreads. I will try and put a picture of them up here on the screen. So you can look at the covers. Because that's one reason why I needed the thing. The thing. Um, my thingy. See them in color. Anyway, so book one, I am going to be reading Vows. Okay, so book one, I am going to be reading Vows in Name Only by Naima Simone. I know I probably have a couple of Naima Simones on here because I love Naima Simone. So, of course, I was going to add that to the list. <laughs> okay, um, I probably won't read it because we're kind of focusing on romance authors this month. But if I decided to, I do have an arc um, from A Queen of Gildage. What is the rest of it called? It is the second Amanda Joy book. A Queen of Gilded Horns. A Queen of Gilded Horns. Um, I do have an arc of that book, the second Amanda Joy book, and I really did enjoy the first one. Um, so I am excited to read that. Um, ooh, do I have two in a series? Ooh, I, speaking of Naima Simone, I also have Passion in Ink. Ooh, by Naima Simone. I really loved Sin and Ink. I really want a new tattoo. I really need to find a tattoo artist or someone who can draw me a tattoo. I really want something bookish that also incorporates travel, like those two together. Um, kind of like my logo, but like not my logo. And, and I really want like a tiny unicorn tattoo, but it has to be like really adorable. Yeah. So anyway, anyway, that's neither here nor there. So by Naima Simone. Um, I have Master of My Body by Marissa Honeycutt. Um, it seemed dark. Probably got it from Steph. If you're looking for more direct like suggestions, go to Steph's bleh, Steph's video, which I will link above, because she has pointed recommendations um, for each category on the bingo board. So, don't be afraid. I just am trying to make sure. I think, I think she's a black author. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She doesn't have a picture up, which honestly is not uncommon for black authors because so many black authors feel like they have to hide their actual identity um, in order to write whatever they want to write, especially if it doesn't center around particularly black characters or if it doesn't involve black trauma. So that does happen often, which is so annoying, which sucks because the world is racist. But anyway, 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 I have that book too. Um, the next one I have is Truly by, it's a Kindle Unlimited. I can't see the whole thing under the Kindle Unlimited thing. Um, it's Truly by Carmel Rhodes. 
Um, and I think it's an age gap. Ooh, oh, wait, I'm about to read that next. Hold up, I'm about to read. It's a dark coming of age. I think this is the one Steph was talking about was YA, but like not YA, YA. Because she doesn't do YA romance at all. Um, but ooh, dark. I love dark romance. Like, ooh. Do, 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 do. So yeah, I've got that. Um, <laughs> I've got Rebecca Weatherspoon, which I do love Rebecca Weatherspoon so much. And I've got Haven. Um, what else would I... What else did I read by Rebecca Weatherspoon and why I'm blanking? Rebecca with the K. Oh, Rebecca Weatherspoon also wrote um, Rafi, um, and I really want to read Zenny too. Ooh, but Haven is Beards and Bondage number one by. Rebecca Weatherspoon, I mean, sorry, um, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm fine, um, oh, and also A Cowboy to Remember, I also read that by Rebecca Weatherspoon, so those are also two other great books by Rebecca Weatherspoon, who is a black author, um, so those are recommendations, ha <laughs> ha, gotcha, I did know some other ones, um, so yeah, I did also love those. Oh my gosh, she even has a vampire sorority sisters called Better Off Red. Holy crap. Oh my god. See? Let me get out of here. Um, so, and then next I'm finally, uh, don't judge me, I have not read any Beverly Jenkins. Um, man, because I don't really read historical romance like that. Like, I don't read historical romance. But to push myself, I have a Beverly Jenkins Rebel, which is what most people um, suggest when starting with Beverly Jenkins. I mean, I know Beverly Jenkins is obviously the queen of historical romance and that she puts in her time so it's like with it being historical and especially featuring around black people in history there can be some trauma but I think the way she does it is it brings the historical aspect all together to make it not as traumatic I don't know we're gonna see I'm really gonna try and read it um the next one I have is The Princess Trap by Talia Hibbert I actually bought this when this was on sale one day I grabbed it up and I want to read it the, um another one I want to read is um, the second one to get a life, Chloe Brown, the Danny Brown one, um, also by Talia Hibbert. Um, that one also features an interracial couple as well. And, um, I think Danny is bi. I think Danny is bi as well. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, um, some other ones that you can definitely read now that I'm actually looking at my shelves. Oh, and then the last one I have on, I have on my Audible is going to be Kenya Wright. Um, can you write Dirty Kisses, um, that I am, no, sorry, Dirty Love, already read Dirty Kisses, but Dirty Love that I am so excited to start listening to, I'm gonna start listening to that, ah! I'm so excited, anyway, <laughs> I have such a good lineup, guys, like, this is why I might actually do well in this readathon, because, like, every single book that I have, I am genuinely excited for, like, I have such a good lineup of books, like, I'm gonna be, um, I don't know what's gonna happen with school or with my business. I don't know. I don't know. But that's okay. We're gonna figure it all out one hour at a time. Um, some other ones that you can definitely read. Um, Jasmine Guillory is one if you're looking for a light contemporary romance. This is the second one in the series, The Proposal, um, The Wedding Date. The wedding something is the first one. Um, I actually I accidentally read this one first because I didn't know that this was the second book. Um, but I really liked this one more than I liked the first one. It might be because I read this one first. I don't know. I did enjoy this. Um, you guys know I don't have that many print books. All of these are black authors over here. So, which they might all move downstairs. Trying to see. I don't have that many print books and on top of that I definitely don't have that many print romance books. Um, I really need to get on N.K. Jemisin um, which you can definitely read. It definitely qualifies under fantasy. Uh, oh it's this is the first one. River of Royal Blood. This one's signed by Amanda Joy for the one I was talking about. A Queen of Gilded Horns. I have that second one as an art to read. Um, Oh, we have, let's talk about love. This is a YA contemporary, um, it's not really 
romance um but this one does feature an asexual main character so if you're looking for representation um this is more representation um black author black main character also an, i want to say asian male lead i want to say and asexual representation I didn't drop anything. <laughs> but anyway, guys, um, I, I don't know. I'm probably going to do another one later on throughout the month as I continue to download more books and acquire more and look at a lot of you guys' TBRs um, because I know I need to read Intercepted fumbled intercepted and blitz no i didn't read blitzed i read intercepted I need to read blitzed um by um <sighs> why y'all even come here <laughs> just kidding this is who i am fumbled by alexa martin i need to read blitzed um which is going to feature interracial in the third one i think it didn't get as great of reviews as the first two um but i've read intercepted fumbled i need to read blitzed um, which is by Alexa Martin. Um, so you guys have definitely been tagging us in fantastic TBRs and I've been getting so many recommendations, been screenshotting and you guys like, I love seeing it. We love to see it. Okay. So keep reading, keep going. Don't forget to tag us, fill out the bingo board. Let us know what you're reading. We really do want to know. I cannot wait for the live show to talk to all of you guys and for me to continue to be the mess that I am. Um, on the live with all of the wonderful women who are hosting this readathon and that is going to be it for what's on my kindle right now my kindle and my audible right now um so yeah my dog's growling it always scares me um <laughs> pen pen what are you doing pen 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 it and so guys um don't forget to hit that like button down below penny hit that bell notification button so you never miss anything don't forget to sub 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 oh, there's someone walking don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to follow me on all the social medias so that way you know when all the updates are i've tagged all the prizes i have a i have a highlights reel on my instagram for all all the things related to this readathon but anyway guys that is gonna be it for me so until next time, keep turning the pages.